Microsoft OneNote is a fantastic tool for doing research. So say your students have to go out and they have to look for key information. So they go out to Internet Explorer and they're looking at this uh, ITL research website and they select the text and, and we know that they're going to do the whole copy thing and, and we're going to teach them about copyright issues and we're also going to teach them about citation. So now I'm going to drop back into OneNote and I'm going to paste what I just copied. Wow, look at that. Not only has it brought the text over, but it's also brought the link. So later on, when I try to remember where that text come from, came from and did I write it, I can just click on that link and it'll take me right back over to Internet Explorer and the site that I was on when I found it. Since I first came across Microsoft OneNote, I have to tell you, it has become my favorite tool. And the screen clipping feature is one tool, one part of it in particular that I really like when I'm doing research. So, although I showed you how you can copy and paste text, let me show you how you can take a picture of the screen. Two ways that are built in to OneNote. One is on the insert ribbon. You go to screen clipping and it goes to wherever you last were and grays out the area. So now I'm going to take a picture of this beautiful picture on Bing. I drag over the area I want, let go, and it immediately inserts it into the uh, tab that you were working on in Microsoft OneNote. And once again, it tells me exactly when I took it and where I took it from. Now, suppose you're out doing some research, looking at a PowerPoint presentation, watching a webinar, and something comes up on the screen that you want to save. You may want to drop it into OneNote. You may want to save it to put it into your own PowerPoint presentation or a Word document. Either way, the trick I'm going to show you is a great one. You take your Windows key and your S key and you press them down at the same time. It's going to gray out your screen and then, just like before, you select what you want to save and you're going to get a pop-up that asks if you would like to put it directly into OneNote or if you want to copy it to your clipboard. So you can say, well, I'm on my research section, so I'm going to send it to my selected location. And when I go back over to OneNote, it'll be there waiting for me, time stamped and location stamped. So I can go right back to where I found it before. However, Suppose I want it to save it to Word or PowerPoint. Then you simply make the copy to clipboard uh, decision and you go into Word or PowerPoint and you paste it in. What a great time saver. And it gives you the link so you can go back to it later. Have you ever gone to a conference and they hand you a printed PowerPoint presentation or a PDF and you think, oh, what am I going to do with this? It's going to get lost. I know I'll never, never find it again. However, if they put it online and gave you the ability to print it, or someone sends you a file, or maybe you're on the web and you want to print something out and you think, oh, I'm just wasting more paper and I'd really like to mark this up, all you have to do is print it to OneNote. Any place you can print, if you have OneNote on your computer, one of your printer options is send to OneNote. Click the print button and it will ask you where you want to send it in OneNote. I'm going to pick my research book and it prints it out. Now, wait till you get a load of this. Not only does it print it into your notebook, it now gives you the ability to mark it up. So, if you're interested in using this tool, just go to that print button and you can mark away. All right, now as far as research goes, I'm really excited about linked notes. In OneNote, in the Review tab, click on Linked Notes. That page is going to pop up on the side of your screen and you're going to say where you want to send your linked notes. So I'm going to say, select that linked notes page in my notebook. And now when I go out to the web, and I take notes, 
I am going to notice that my notes are going to be linked to wherever I am. Note the little Internet Explorer icon. And then I might be reviewing a PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to take some notes there and it's going to say while well, you were taking these notes not very well you were taking these notes from a PowerPoint presentation and finally I'm going to jump over to a Word document that I was working on and it's going to link to that document as well so when I go back over to OneNote and I look at my linked notes I'm going to close this right now and here I am in my linked notes notice the little link button at the top of the page and when I click on the notes that I typed it will take me right to where I was when I took those notes let me jump back over to OneNote again and here I am and it's going to open the PowerPoint presentation for me now that I gotta tell you very very cool